Liz Child here for Green Earth Organics and welcome to another episode of Four Ways With where I show you four simple ways to cook a seasonal vegetable and today we have the beautiful January King cabbage. So the four recipes I'm going to show you today are cabbage rolls with the outer leaves, raw salad of Asian style dressing, a bit like a slaw, a classic side to a Sunday roast, so just braised with some apple. And the fourth way, sort of South Indian style coconutty curry. So you want to give your cabbage a really good rinse, get inside all the outer leaves that are loose, make sure you get all the mud out, and then just carefully break off as many outer leaves as you can. Sometimes helps to remove the stem from the bottom and go from that way out, that's it. In lots of these cabbage roll recipes, you steam the leaves or steam the whole cabbage first, but you know me, I like a shortcut. So what I normally do is just keep them raw, get a rolling pin and just carefully roll that tough core bit there, just to flatten it out a little bit. And then the traditional filling for these, if you do it kind of Eastern European style, is normally for some kind of minced meat. So today I'm doing some mashed red kidney beans. It's easier to just get in there and squish them with your hands actually. And then I've got some sautéed minced mushroom, which I just sautéed with some salt and pepper and garlic. And then the short grain brown rice. Okay, so we'll just give that a good old mix. And then I'm going to bake the rolls in um, a lidded pot, or you can use a roasting dish with some tin foil, or just use my baking sheet as a lid. And in this pot, I've made a really simple little tomato sauce. So I've just sauteed an onion and some garlic, chucked in a tin of chopped tomatoes, um, some salt and pepper and some dried dill just for that kind of Eastern European flavour and I've got the oven preheating um, to about 200 degrees so I'm just going to chop off the very ends of the cabbage they're just a little bit too tough to go in the roll and then we get rolling so just pop a generous spoon of the filling inside and then roll it away from you and as you go just tuck in the sides and roll it into as neat a little parcel as you can and then just tuck it into the sauce so here they all are nice and snug in the sauce and i'm going to pop the lid on pop them in the oven to steam roast just until the cabbage is nice and soft and the sauce is really bubbling so it doesn't take too long maybe about half an hour okay i'm going to do the braised cabbage and apple now so in this little pot here i've just got a sliced apple and with a little bit of butter and i'm just going to let that start to heat up while i shred this cabbage pop that straight in on top of the apple and butter season it with some salt Bit of pepper and once that starts to sizzle we'll add a little bit of liquid while that's going I'll get on with the spicy slaw so in this bowl here I've already got some ribboned carrots I just used a potato peeler and then I'm going to add in as finely as I can sliced or shredded cabbage and I'm going to make a dressing so in this little bowl, I'm going to crush some garlic, grate in some fresh ginger, squeeze of the lime, a touch of sweetness so you can put some brown sugar or a little dash of maple syrup, some beautiful toasted sesame oil, and some salty soy sauce. Give that a really good stir. The braised cabbage and apple is ready for some liquid now. So I'm just going to add a small dash of apple cider vinegar. You can use just 
a glass of cider or a glass of white wine and a little bit of water. Give it a gentle mix. And then you can pop the lid on and just let that simmer for a few minutes until the cabbage is soft. Okay, back to the slaw. Right, so we have this really simple combination here of cabbage and carrot with a really beautiful, zingy, toasty, salty dressing. And the best way to mix it in is with your hands or some tongs. You know, really use a bigger bowl if you've got one. Just keep turning it over. And then to make it extra special, I've prepared some toppings for the salad here. So I've got some spring onions, some sliced red chili, some mixed toasted sesame seeds, so some black and white, and some delicious toasted peanuts with salt. Yum. So I just move the braised cabbage and apple to the back of the hob while I show you a really simple South Indian spiced cabbage and coconut curry. Okay, so we start off with the pan nice and hot. Get a good glug of light vegetable oil in there. And we're gonna make a kind of taka before we pop the cabbage in. So taka is just whole curried spices fried in oil. And so all the flavors from the spices go into the oil and really enhances the flavor of the spices. Okay, so I'm gonna have some cumin seeds and some brown mustard seeds. We're gonna add some sliced red chili. You can use green chili or chili flakes. And you could also add garlic as well. I'm just going to leave the garlic today. And my favourite, favourite thing, these beautiful curry leaves, which I know are hard to find, but if you can find fresh curry leaves, they will change your life. Okay. So while that's sizzling away, I'm just going to shred this cabbage. straight on top, I won't stir it just yet, I want those spices to carry on popping away in the bottom. That is starting to smell really fragrant. I'm going to season the cabbage with some salt and add some ground spices, so just a little ginger and a little turmeric. And whenever you use turmeric, always add some ground black pepper. Have a good stir. This is a, a great side for a curry. Or you can make this the main event. So just add, bulk it out, add, um, add some cooked potatoes, some tin of chickpeas, and just serve it with rice as a nice, simple, quick curry. So once you've cooked down the cabbage just a little bit, I'm gonna add some acidity. So the other half of that lime. Okay, so once the cabbage starts to cook down a bit, um, then just add some coconut from the tin. And we'll just let that simmer until it's beautiful and soft and silky. The braised cabbage and apple is done. The cabbage is soft and sweet and tender. And the little pieces of sautéed apple are just beautiful with it though. It's a classic, easy, delicious side for the roast. And the cabbage rolls are out of the oven as well. Some of the sauce from the bottom. And I like to serve it with a spoon or two of natural sour tangy yogurt. Slice of sourdough bread, sprinkle of fresh or dried dill, and some pepper. It's a beautiful, warming, wintry dish. So there we have four really 
simple, fairly quick dishes you can do with a January King or a Savoy cabbage. So let us know in the comments what are your favourite cabbage recipes and which vegetable would you like me to do four ways with next?